What's going on? It's Dom. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I'm showing all of the modifications that I've done to my 2009 BMW 335i convertible. Now, in today's segment, I'm going to do a walk around and show you the exterior modifications that I've done to it, which has transformed it from stock to how it's looking today. Before we begin, I want to invite those who are here for the first time to please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you'll be notified for the future videos that I have coming up. Now let's get this tour started. Now let's begin at the front of the vehicle with what I believe is the number one modification that every BMW owner does, and that is swap out the chrome kidney grills for a set of black ones. This happens to be my second set. The first set were single slat in a matte black. I recently upgraded to the double slat performance style in a high gloss. I think it matches the color of the car much better. I've got a link to the video up above for that installation. Below the grills, I've got an ECS tuning carbon fiber uh, valance. I like the carbon fiber on that. Gives a little more aggressiveness to the uh, front of the vehicle. Coming around the side on the bumper, I eliminated the orange reflector and I went with one that matches the paint perfectly and gives it kind of a stealth look. Let's jump over the wheel for a second. I'll get back to those. Behind the wheel, I have smoke side markers that I installed. Again, I think it just complements the car and it gives it a nice stealth look all across. I got rid of the white one. I have an installation video for that. Link that above as well. Now let's get to the wheels. The wheels are VMR 703 in graphite, 19 inch all around in a staggered set. I have eight and a half up in front with a 40 offset nine and a half in the rear with a 33 offset and they're sitting on falcon azenis 510s 235 35 in the front 265 30s in the rear now when i had those done i also did the suspension h and r sport springs i lowered the vehicle about half an inch and i also did bilstein shocks and struts that was all done by Corsa Technic down in Pompano Beach. Shout out to Jonathan. He did a great job, took care of my vehicle. Excellent quality work, uh, great customer service. They are my go-to shop down in South Florida. Anybody needs work done, Corsa Technic, they're great. He also recommended that I add some wheel spacers. So I did so on the front only right now. I've got 15 millimeter spacers, which I think brings out the wheels just right. In the rear, I don't have any, but I am planning on putting a set, which I have 10 millimeter, probably do that this weekend. I'm just worried about the rub, so I've got to be careful about that. They sit pretty well, but I might push them out just a little bit more. Also on my wheels, I have authentic BMW spinner calf. <laughs> yeah, those are authentic, all right. Um, some people think it's a novelty, but you know what? If you're into taking pictures of your vehicle, uh, it looks so good when you've got the roundel upright, you know, in your photographs. And also, if you have somebody that can take a roller of your vehicle, a rolling photo while you're driving, it looks really, really cool. I've got a great shot that uh, Grizzly Lens Photography took of mine when I was at one of the BMW invasions. And it looks pretty sick that my roundels on the wheels, the spinners are like perfect, you know? So that's a nice little addition that I did there. Moving to the doors underneath, I've got M Sport style skirts. I purchased those about two years ago in white off of a part out in Miami. They sat in the garage up until recently where I took them to Von Raps down in Deerfield Beach, and Eric did a nice wrap job to match the paint. Shout out to them down there. A great uh, shop for your vehicle wraps. Uh, he also does interior wraps as well, so look them up. They're really, really good. Let's move up the doors to the carbon fiber mirror caps that I have on. I think they complement the front valance very well. 
And also, around the windows you see, I don't have any chrome. A buddy and I, we vinyl wrapped that in dark gray to match the graphite wheels. I think it looks really good. I didn't want to go with that murdered out look and getting all black. So I think the gray works. Let's move towards the rear of the vehicle. Let me stop off at the gas filler and pop the door. I've got some blue bling happening in there. Yeah, I got to add on the bling on the outside too. On the trunk lid, I have a carbon fiber spoiler. A lot more aggressive than what I had before. It had the smaller performance spoiler in the matching black, but I think this one just adds a little more aggressiveness to it. And also down at the bottom of the rear, I have BMS exhaust tips in high gloss black. Again, I think that adds some aggressiveness to it. They're bigger and larger than the stock ones, so these just slip right on. Let's move up the rear and something that I put on there, which I have never had before, and that's a license plate frame. I've never liked license plate frames. They get rusty, they break, brittle, chip, whatever you want to call it, and they block the license plate. This one is made by Right Car Solutions. It is a soft uh, silicone, comes in various colors. I like it because you can hardly see it, but it gives a nice uh, stealth frame to the license plate. Every now and then I throw on some silk shine from Chemical Guys. It looks really good. Let me pop the uh, trunk lid here and show you what lights up my license plate is these very bright Weisslicht LED modules that I had installed. Those are really nice. I like those for this model. It really, really brightens up the license plate. That's all the modifications that I've done to the vehicle so far. What's in the future? What do I plan? I'd like to get LCI taillights to put on there. I'd really like to get a new exhaust. I'm thinking the Valtronics where I can open and close it and not have to worry about scaring the crap out of my neighbors when I start it up. I would definitely love to do a big brake kit. I am in need of rotors. I think for now I'm just going to go with a set of StopTech and probably an upgraded uh, pads. And finally, up in front, what I would really like are the Bay Optics E-Series version 3 headlights. I think those halos would look awesome on the front of this vehicle. I've seen a couple of other vehicles with it. They look sinister. They come in different styles and colors, but I want the OEM Plus look, the circular halos. And uh, yeah, it's a big ticket item, but uh, you know, I'm hoping one day to get those installed. Hey, Bay Optics, if you're listening. Well, that's it for now. I'll uh, add a little cinematic montage at the end of this video. If you enjoyed this segment, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.